Hey collective, what is going on? It's your girl Lightwork Goddess and Tarot. I am so excited to do today's reading because I have some new decks, some new really fun spiritual trinkets and things of that nature that I'm just really excited to use for my readings going forward. I'm always trying to get new stuff for the channel, trying to keep up with, you know, just the tarot community, certain decks that I've wanted. So I hope today's video isn't too long, but honestly, I'm so excited. I'm just gonna go where spirit guides me as far as this reading. So I'm just cutting open the Zodiac deck uh, dices that I've got that I'm so freaking excited to use all this stuff and see what comes out and see just how much the messages continue to resonate. As always, if you want a personal reading, all that information is in the description, but let's jump in with our prayer. Father God, spiritual guides, ancient ancestors, please come into this reading for my gorgeous, beautiful, amazing, divine collective. Keep out all low vibrational, dark, demonic energy as it's not welcome in our spirit or the collective. And so it is as a B, amen, I'll say. So I think we're just going to do a collective reading and see the person who's thinking about you. Who's thinking about you? What do they want to say? All right, thank you, Spirit. So first, we're gonna start off with our Love Oracle cards. I've always wanted these cards. I just now found them on Amazon, so you guys don't understand my excitement. Okay, Spirit, what is the overall energy or what message does this person that is thinking about my collective, what do they wanna say? The person that's the most in their energy, Spirit, what do they want to say? What do they need to say? What does their higher self want to say? Okay, we have clock, need time, takes time, end time, cycles, time to heal, progress. So this is giving me time as a ticking. So for a lot of you guys, you might be in no contact, minimal contact, separation. There's somebody here who is feeling like they're running out of time, but they might feel like their life right now, they might feel like they're being rushed to come towards you. It's like energetically, especially if there's no contact. There's somebody here who feels like they need to come towards you and they need to come towards you now. What else, Spirit? I'm here and go and get the ring and you should just wife her. Hands of cards, take a chance, a risk, being strategic, options, not showing hand, gambling. So it's interesting that clock came out and then hands of cards. So somebody is like, okay, what 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 am I what's my hands of cards? Like I don't want to really let it be known. So for a lot of you guys, I'm getting no contact. There's an energy here. I am getting a masculine energy that is like, I need to make some sort of action. I'm trying to be strategic. Maybe in the past the way they approached you didn't work out, but they feel like rushed. They feel like they're running out of time. They feel like they need to say something. I'm hearing before someone else gets my baby. All right, what else? We have healing heart, healing from heartbreak, freedom from toxic relationship or addiction. We also have hammer, heart with a key, and Cupid's arrow. Sabotage, rebuilding, interrogation, repetitive, persistent, working on it. Heart with a key, welcoming love, meeting the one, opening your heart, getting together, perfect. Cupid's arrow, have faith, love is coming. Um, surprise invitation or meeting hesitation both receiving what you need progression arriving moving on closure issues there's somebody here a lot of you guys i'm getting no contact there's somebody here who is trying to heal themselves they realize that the way they interacted with you had really nothing to do with you it had to do with their issues with the past their issues with trauma their issues with past relationships and through that healing process, I really get a separation vibe. They see that they sabotage this connection with you, that they beat you down. They nailed the nail in the coffin. They, You guys might feel like it's over with this person, like shit is dead. Some of you guys' birthday is June 8th as it's 6 away. Now this person, because of this energy and them feeling rushed, they want to come in. So they want to get together with you. They want you to, you have the key to their heart. They want to welcome this new love energy. This is giving me like six of wands with the boat. They want to move towards calmer waters. Cupid shot their arrow. They're so focused on you. And they have, they, they like want you to have faith that they're coming. But also divine is saying that too. This is somebody who is a surprise invitation. So for a lot of you guys, you have somebody coming towards you that is going to like just out of nowhere invite you out. That's going to be their gesture. Now, this person is very nostalgic. They're looking at old messages. They're thinking about the ways that they communicated with you in the past with gel pens. They're thinking about how in the past they may have wanted to write you, but they didn't. I'm hearing all the chances I didn't take. Okay. 
Oh my gosh. Um, we have Alpaca in reverse. So this is somebody who sees that you're really not playing with them anymore. You're no longer being that sweet, um, nice, nasty, or like they, they just feel like you're going to be full king or queen of swords. You're going to just go off on them. And that's like making them kind of nervous. Now, this person feels like they're in a bind when it comes to you. Um, but they're like, listen, I got to do something. Yeah, because things they're thinking about in the past how... With Sunday morning ca cartoons in reverse, they're thinking about like how they didn't leave shit in the right way with you. Like they kind of didn't represent themselves, how they felt about you. This is someone who needed a lot of healing, but what I'm hearing, they wasn't ready at the time. Very nostalgic. Yeah, this person definitely is wowed by you. They are so into you. They just think you're amazing. You could be an artist or this person could be. They're just like thinking about how, oh my God, this person was always amazing. They were always beautiful. They were always handsome. There was always like a dope vibe. And I was somebody with Mirage. Is this too good to be true? I feel like this person's environment, whether in the past or the present, but specifically the past, had made them like afraid to take action with you. Now we have Ant Eater in reverse. This is somebody who no longer wants to be greedy. And this person has gone through a lot of towers in their life through this separation with you and now they're learning to amethyst trust their intuition and come towards you <clears throat> okay a time for healing a win-win outcome is forecast libra and then we also have um adjustments are required back of the deck is the end of a tough cycle approaches capricorn so you could be a libra or a capricorn or this person or something can happen during those seasons which is september um uh, um october and then also november so probably towards the end of this year there's somebody who is wanting to or december i'm sorry somebody who's wanting to come in and heal the connection they've been healing that fellow on top of healing heart thank you spirit this person wants you to know that through this separation they've been working on themselves and they see like their sabotage ways like is not working they want to balance out the scales with you they want to come in and win with you and they know that in order to do so they need to make some sort of changes now spirit what would this person that is thinking about my collective what do they want to say to them specifically strengthen your gifts this person has been watching you on social media and they see that you've been working on yourself i'm hearing i'm proud of you like you have become the person I always knew you were. This person also sees you doing what you love and focusing on you. There's a feminine energy here that has faded away from a masculine. This is somebody that does not want you to say no to them. They're very afraid of rejection. That is a little bit of the reason why they have been like holding back because they're afraid that you're not going to want them because of how they have showed themselves to you. Now, live your soul, not a role in reverse. This is somebody who no longer wants to be inauthentic. They don't want to wear a mask anymore. It's not working for them. And this person overall just wants you to forgive them and then forget. Not forget, but like forgive and forget. Like, can we just move on? Can we just move forward? I don't want to keep dwelling on the past. I know what I did wrong. I'm ready to come in. This might be somebody who like will want to address things very quickly and then move forward. Um... <clears throat> I don't know how that's going to work for you, Collective, but that's kind of this person's energy. Okay, let's get some tarot. Okay, Spared, who is this person that is on the person on my Collective's mind? Maybe some of you guys are thinking about them too. Everything you're on my mind. Every little thing you do, you're on my mind. Okay, we have Wheel of Fortune with the um, Eight of Swords. So this, everything here has happened in divine timing. This person clearly needed healing and you probably did as well. Um, but this person, since the separation or disconnection, they have been feeling very much tied up all up in their head, very much in their thoughts, very much overthinking. Now, Ace of Pentacles with the Six of Cups and the Five of Swords with Death. This is definitely somebody, here goes that Six of Swords. Thank you, Spirit. This is someone from your past, could be older than you or just someone you knew when you were younger, um, someone you've known for a while, or just even someone that you have shared many lives with. This person wants to give you a solid love offer. They see you as a blessing. They're very nostalgic about the connection with you. They know they turned their back on you and they know that things have ended, but it's like they want to start over new. How does this person feel about my collective? How do they feel about my collective? Uh, 
communication. They're about, they want to talk to you. They want to, they're coming towards you. They're no longer in hangman. I feel like they could have been very indecisive in the past. And it could have been about, they could have been indecisive over you collective because of another relationship with the 10 of cups in reverse. But they realize like they've made a decision on some sort of shit. It could even be like childhood trauma or just things from their past that were holding you back. But for a lot of you guys, it was a relationship. They have made some sort of um, decision about the past someone they were dealing with and this is making them want to come towards you why the hangman with the ten of cups in reverse I'm, I'm hearing this person is realizing that you are the one yeah the world they they have definitely closed out a cycle and like they don't want to deal with the drama anymore they want to come towards you how do they feel about the collective the star you're their wish fulfillment you could be an aquarius you're everything they want. They see you pouring into themselves and they really respect the fact that like you give toward yourself. This person's also been going through judgment because of their toxic ways and because of them rejecting you. They rejected you and they rejected spirit at the same time. This person sees nothing but victory with you, but they also realize like them being on their, their high horse, them being arrogant and pompous and being in the ego was like not working. So now they want to apologize. It's the truth. They want to be honest with the ace of swords, but they also want to work on things and offer you this cup of love. Ace of Cups with the Eight of Pentacles. What's this person's next action spirit? Within 30 days. Um, justice. Bringing you some sort of truth. Explaining themselves. Telling you why they did the things they did. Five of Rods in reverse. I don't want to fight with you. I don't want to argue with you. I just want you to hear me out. So if you do want this person back or you do love this person, you will know who they are. Um, it might be nice to hear them out because a lot of you guys are in Queen of Swords or King of Swords energy and wanted to cut, cuss them the fuck out and argue with them because of how they hurt you. But it's like, Spirit says, handle this with grace. Okay. What's their action, Spirit? Yeah. Oh my God, the King and Queen of Wands. King and, King and Queen of Wands. You guys be fire signs with the two of rods. Uh, back of the deck is the Empress. Somebody might want to get you pregnant. They're very sexually passionate towards you. This person feels like you guys are a great match. You guys are both confident. You guys are both determined. You guys are both um, living your best life. You guys are both doing your thing. So it's like they want to see what's up with that. Like they feel like you're their exact match. And they feel like they have just like realize that you're the one for them and they feel kind of stupid and kind of clueless as to why they didn't see this sooner yeah this is somebody who walked away from you but now they want to come in and offer you a two of cups with the uh four of rods they want some serious commitment with you okay yeah you're in this nine of pentacles energy and i feel like while you're in this abundant beautiful energy of doing you getting to your back living your life doing what makes you happy hanging out with friends family this person is like losing strength losing sleep and like realizing they don't want to hold back anymore they intuitively know that them guarding themselves from you was probably not the best decision yeah and they don't want to they don't want to backstab they don't want to betray they don't want to have any more lies so this person has definitely been thinking about you really thinking about you guys giving towards each other equally this person is very like um in their head like imagining a life with you imagining look at that death coming out in reverse wanted to resurrect something that once felt like it was dead okay codependency if this person was in a codependent or toxic relationship they're letting go of that they're healing their traumas from their past and they could be working through issues with their family or wanting to heal issues with you especially if you guys have a family now this person feels like you don't see them as a true love anymore and that you wouldn't even be like open to flirting with them they really see you in this queen of swords energy so they're saying please just give me a chance like please just give me a chance like i know what i want now Okay, pay attention to the red flags in reverse. This person is like, listen, I'm dropping the red flags. I'm actually putting up a white flag. I'm surrendering. I want to just be my authentic self so that you can see how much I, I do and have always cared about you. Okay, this person is extremely attracted towards you and has always been. And this attraction has never died. So they know that... 
the reason why you're in this energy of not seeing them as a true love or not even wanting to flirt with them, maybe not even being attracted towards them, is because you don't trust them. So someone from your past is coming in to reconcile. I know there could have been issues I'm hearing with you guys, your beliefs, your life paths, your the way you live your life. You could be very eccentric. They could be very practical. But this person is like, I don't care anymore. Okay. Let's get some hidden truth oracle messages messages from this person the person on my collective's mind <clears throat> i want to be more than friends so if this person um made you feel like we would just they feel like this is really giving me like situationship or like a relationship that never got off the ground they want more than that they don't want to just be friends i'm attracted to you i regret lying to you mm. So this person, um, oh my gosh, listen, this is actually so beautiful. They wish they could take back their words. They're very attracted to you. They regret lying to you. They wish they could take back the words that they've said to you. They wish they could have very nostalgic, like they still are into you. They, they feel bad about lying to you about um, things that now they're like, I could have just told them what was going on. Like the collective wouldn't have even judged me or they would have you don't understood like this person could have you guys could have just been dating and they could have been lie, lying about seeing other people and now they're like that kind of fucked things up <clears throat> what else i'm so attracted to you they said all right my life is not as together as it seems so you might think this person got their whole life together it's not um they're actually very intimidated by you and they feel like they're not good enough for you Okay, you speak to me through music. So this person like listens to love songs about you um, or they just hear music and they automatically think about you. I feel you even though we're apart. I wish I could share my good news with you and I'll wait for a sign from you. This person's like waiting for some sort of sign that you don't hate them, that you're available, that you're still into them. I'm afraid to contact you. A few other ones. I just got this deck, so I just want to use it. I hope that you can forgive me one day. Okay. Just being near you is intoxicating, and I, I feel you leaving me behind, and I'm grateful for the spiritual lesson. Whether or not a win-win outcome is forecast, whether or not you end up with this person, they are still grateful. You and I were too young, and I replay our conversations over and over. So whether or not you guys end up, look at that again, I want to be more than friends. Um, whether or not you guys actually end up getting back together, they will always be grateful for what they learned from you. Now, let's just see if my personal messages, I'm healing. Yeah, if they coincide spirit messages from this person that cannot stop thinking about my collective. Stay with me, don't go. Okay. Committed. This person wants to be committed to you. Some of them may have left a job and that's why their life cannot be as together as you think. They're wondering if you guys can really make this work. That's one thing that's always been on their head. Like, damn, like I never really gave the collective a, a shot. Like maybe we can make it work. This is somebody who could have been very wealthy, rich, bossy, and they could be going through some financial troubles. And that could be like why their life is not as together as it seems. They could be afraid of that. This person could also be drinking a lot over you. They might have a very flashy vibe. Yeah. And they might be afraid to like let you know about some of the shit they've been going through. Now, this is someone who watches your social media and they just want to know, can you forgive them? Can you forgive me for what I've done? You know, I broke. I know I broke your heart. This is somebody who knows they broke your heart. They feel like an idiot and they feel extremely empty without you. Okay, what else? They feel like a loser. Wow, this person's really in like a very like, not pessimistic, but like self loathing like they're really mad at themselves they're kicking themselves in the ass their life is very bull boring dull unfulfilled they're just not happy and i'm in love with someone else they're not in love with anyone else they want you to know that but their feelings scare them okay they know they were toxic and future me leaving was my biggest mistake they might end up telling you that in the future okay 
you have such a beautiful soul and spirit this person will always be thankful for just how how beautiful and gracefully you handled their disrespect i'm hearing now someone here can have tattoos i feel like you taught this person like what a real man or a real woman looks like this person could be like praying on it but that was in reverse so this person might not even like be outwardly spiritual but they might now have be praying because they don't know what else to do to get you back let's get some zodiacs okay i believe this is taurus we have the yeah five and taurus is that taurus let me look at the zodiac sign symbols because i just want to be sure yeah taurus and the number five so heavy taurus energy okay um let me see what the nodes are. I don't even be knowing what the nodes are. Yeah, I'm going to put this one away because I need to learn how, which what those are. But we have Taurus. We also have October, which could be Scorpio Libra. And Aries. Oh, once again, um, Aries coming through. If you guys know the symbols and I'm getting them wrong, please don't be mad at me. I literally just got this deck. So I don't really know what they all are at the moment. There's a card on the floor. Money. You definitely be getting to that money. This person, person is noticing it and they're also worried about money. Could be because this person like usually has a lot of money or comes off as being very stable. Okay, now we have Scorpio in one. We have um, Capricorn and Sagittarius January. Last one. Five again. Uh, Virgo. Is that Virgo? Virgo and May. Taurus. Gemini. So that's what we got. And then I also see two as well as Cancer, Pisces, um, Aquarius. All right. Let's get some initials for you guys. Okay. The number N definitely wanted to come out. So annoying, y'all. Okay. A E E W E E. I'm saying ew. This person's afraid you're gonna be like, ew, like, don't hit me up. We have P, we have I, we have Y, we have yo, what's up? We have you. I want you. We have L O. We have V. E, this person loves you. I love you. Okay. We also have U S that N. You are their son. But also fun. This person misses having fun with you. This person could also like guns. Be a blank. This person, their mind goes a blank about you sometimes. Okay. I'm also seeing in love. This person is in love with you. Okay. And we have T and then we have another, we have blank again. All right, guys, let me know how that resonated. Um, if it did, be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe, send love and light, and I'll see you later.